Martha's Kitchen. I got a real good one for you today. I have a special request to make a cake. And so I'm going to make an uh, apple pecan cake. Okay? Alright? So, what you're going to need is two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And I sift it together so that uh, we're going we gonna to need one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of baking soda. And we sift it together like this. Okay, so it will get all in there, okay? All right. And you're going to need your um, your pan. I'm, I'm making, um, so you, when you, this is um, pound cake pan. So what you do is you got to put some shortening in it and flour so that it'll come out easy. Okay, all right. So I got all this together here. And you're gonna need two cups of sugar. And you're gonna need a cup and a half of vegetable oil. And you're gonna need three teaspoons of vanilla. And you're gonna need a cup of, you got to chop them up, chopped pecans. Three eggs. And you're gonna need three cups of chopped, peeled, and cored apples. Okay? So you, when you when you when you um, peel your apples and cut them while you're waiting to put them in your in your um, in your cake, uh, make sure the water is cold so they won't turn dark. You know what I mean? All right. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, beat our sugar and eggs together. Okay? Three eggs. In Mississippi, we, we, we would never uh, uh, put an egg in without first put, testing it. But most of the time here, you don't have to do that because of the fact that most of the eggs here, uh, that you don't have to worry about them not being any good. The reason why we do that is because some of them in Mississippi wasn't good. But here, you know, the way they grow them, we don't have to worry too much about them. But we always would uh, put them in a separate bowl first. Crack them and put them in a separate bowl first, in, in, just in case one was uh, bad. Okay, all right. So we didn't have no bad ones. So what we're gonna do is Three cups apples. 
okay? I got my oven heating at 350, okay? We're gonna cook it an hour. This is a shortening. I use Crisco shortening in, in the pan and then I flour it. You put flour in it, dust it with flour so that the, the cake will come out good. Okay, now I'm gonna put my nuts in it, okay? Now you know who you are to ask me to make a cake. And so I wanted to make one that's not on my show already. And that's why I'm making this one. It's a different, it's a di I'm gonna make some for the holiday so that you can have a, a variety of cakes to choose from. When I was a little girl, I do whatever they wanted me to do so that I could get the pan. Okay, so now we're gonna put it over in our dish. And you ain't got to worry about trying to make it even because the heat is gonna make it even. So there you have it, you see? So uh, I still love the cake pan. I feel a raw dough. <laughs> there you have it. So we're gonna put it in the oven for one hour. And I'll be back and I'll show you what it looks like. Welcome back. Now see, I just took it out of the oven and, the, and you, you're gonna use a, this kind of knife and you're going to go down and see if it come out clean, you know it's done. See, it's come out clean, right? So then you're gonna take your knife and you're gonna go around, around the sides. See there? And then we're gonna let it cool for 30 minutes before we um, put it on our cake pan. All right, and I'll be back. It's, it's de delicious. Yes. Remember, I have a cookbook, Dothers Mississippi Soul Food. If you order one, I'll autograph it and send it back to you by return mail. Order several. Give them to your friends, your neighbors, your co-workers. All right? And don't forget my seasoning. It makes a difference in your food if you, if you marinate it. Five herbs. Celery and sea salt. I've been married twice, and both of my husband married me because I could cook. And, they, and they, both of them said, didn't, wasn't ashamed to tell their friends and tell me. So I'm telling you, start cooking, ladies, and, and you'll see the difference. All right, all right? And Grandma Dartha will teach you. All right, okay? All right, and don't forget, I have a spiritual book, it's called prison break. It talks about how to break free from your negative thinking and how to um, talk, self-talk, good self-talk. Don't talk yourself down. Know that God made you the way you are and you are beautiful and all you got to do is work on you. And you got to work on it too. We all have to work on it. We all have to know that we are valuable and we matter to God. We matter to God and that's what's important. We matter to God and develop a relationship with God. And listen, can't nobody take that from you. All right, okay? Happy eating to you.